What's up, it's me, Johnny here. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to do these lines right here uh, that are gonna go across the screen. These ones right here. They look very smooth and they can be used for some cool stuff. Um, I This is gonna be the first 2D tutorial that I'm gonna be doing on my channel. Um, I have tried to make these tutorials bigger, but the only way I can do this is like do it in very small little snippets. So um, I might merge a bunch of tutorials together if you want to like see my whole playlist. I have a tutorial playlist. What you're going to need for this tutorial is, um, and uh, this is for all 2 week work, you're going to need this move anchor point script. Um, and you're gonna need a line which you can go to window and you can hit uh, a line right there um, And then move anchor point once you've installed it. I'll give you a link to move anchor point uh, So you can get that for your after effects. Oops. I just made a shape layer. Um Yeah, I just have my composition right here. It's 60 FPS 20 seconds uh, 1920 by 1080 and yeah, let's get into this so um how you do these uh, magical lines is what you do is you do use this pen tool. Now we're just going to be using the normal pen tool and what you do is you're going to click and you're just going to click once and I'll show you what you can do if you hold down click and stuff but uh, you click once then we're going to click somewhere else and isn't it magical. I'm going to turn off fill just in case um, and I'm going to turn the stroke to a white because, you know, white looks nice. Um, now we just have a plain basic line. Um, if you wanted to add curves to this line, what you would do is you would, uh, actually, uh, you would hold it down and then move these things and then hold this down and then you can adjust these curves to different ways. So I'll, I'll have a curvy line. Why not? Real lines have curves. All right, this is uh, my line right now. Um, so this is pretty cool. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my contents, so my shape one, then my stroke one, and what I'm gonna do is change it from a butt cap to round cap, and that makes it so this little edges are rounded. And I don't know, it just gives a general you like it. And this makes it uh, when you check the stroke size, it makes it. Uh, Thinner and larger, uh, just like that. I'm gonna keep it like that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I want from the look of it. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to click on this shape, and you can hit add here, or you can go in and then hit add, and then go to trim paths. Then for trim paths, you can uh, open this up, and you have a start and an end. So if you see this, this is, uh, anyways, uh, this I think is the start, this right here, and this is the end. I'm not sh exactly sure. It might be the other way around. But if you pull the end down to zero, you can see it's just like a spline in Cinema 4D. Uh, if you don't know spin in Cinema 4D, then don't worry about it. Don't mess with offset. Uh, it'll make your stuff really weird. Like, it'll start from here. Uh, we'll get into that another tutorial if you want that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to make a keyframe at the end. And this I'm gonna make very slow just for the purposes of the video. Then I'm gonna go one second in and I'm gonna make it a hundred percent. Alright, so now we just have this. Cool, we just animated it in. Then I'm gonna go halfway, it doesn't have to be exact, between zero and one second, so I'm gonna keyframe the start, and I'm gonna go about 50% after uh, the end finishes, and I'm going to keyframe this to zero. So now we just made this. Now that looks pretty lame still. What you can do is you can select both keyframes, and this is going to be all in all my tutorials. You're going to hit F9, and that's going to make an easy ease. And then you're going to go into this graph editor right here, and then you're going to select them all. You're going to zoom in, and if it doesn't look like this, if it looks like uh, this or something, then make sure you're checking off a speed graph, and that is speed graph only. So what we're going to do is we're going to select them both and then we're gonna drag this line close here 
closer to the center, and then we're going to drag this line closer to the center. Not exactly the center. It depends on what kind of look you're going for, but here's what I have. So I have a slow skew. Um, you can change it so, uh, say I want it just more of a smoother uh, feel to this, then I could do the same thing and make it smoother um, like this. That looks a lot more smooth. You can also do it, uh, move this first one to the beginning and move this second one right here more to the uh, to the right here too. And I'll do the same for this one. And what you can do is you can have it move really fast at the beginning and then it ends really slowly. Also, what I can do for it with this if I want to is I can, uh, if I'm really getting nitty and gritty, you can go to the stroke width, keyframe at zero at the beginning, and then go to like halfway in between the whole thing, make it a lot thicker, um, and then come back to here and turn it back to no thickness so it's like this. So we have this little animation going here. I, um, now that's pretty much your simple animation you have for this line animating in. And this can be used multiple times. If I want to copy and paste it, I don't know, rotate it around a little bit. Uh, same thing with this one, rotate it around. And then I'll have like this little cool thing that I just made. And then you can, you know, it's it could be a cool little text reveal. I don't know. It's really up to you. Um, this is, yeah, this is just going to be one of many tutorials on this channel. I hope you like the video. Uh, this is a very small tutorial, but it gets you into trim paths, which you're going to be using a lot in 2D. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you all later. Bye.